All I can do is weep here, hoping that a kind passerby might find your remains. <laughs> Young master, please forgive my impropriety. I am but a widow, here to mourn my late husband. Show some kindness and excuse my manners. We lived in peace in our mountaintop home. But out of nowhere, wicked insects swarmed the place. They occupied our village. I was the lone survivor. I intended to retrieve my late husband's keepsakes. But the Gwai's leader, the Scorpion Lord, has discouraged all my attempts with his death sting. <laughs> Young master, are you heading up the mountain? Venomous Yao Gwai's have infested the forest ahead. Take caution. Or you may never make it back alive. Remember to carry enough herbs with you, in case you find yourself poisoned. Mr. Unwelcome.
It's been long since any soul has trodden these hidden bounds. Pale, young master. Your face is gaunt, complexion sallow. Both remind me of the venom's touch, as the worm also besets you. An oddity thrives here, the armor worm. Consuming its eggs grants great power. Yet once the larvae hatch, they devour your insides, leaving an undying husk. My fellow disciples, hungry for power, consumed those eggs. And now, most are beyond remedy. Young master, if you will, end their suffering in my stead. They were my fellows. I can't. Their lifeless bodies might still bear eggs unhatched. Bring those eggs to me, and perhaps I can find a cure.
monk. Why not?
all these years apart. And they've marred you like this. I journeyed from Mount Lee to delve into the mysteries of this valley. I didn't mean to hold this back from you. It was because I had to. I stayed my hand for my ties to his mother. That's why I called upon you. But how did you get this? I thought it was with the Hundred-Eyed Guai. This may well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore its power. Consider this as my token of gratitude. Brother's gold piece! Give it here! Huh? 
This is good. You and I should explore that realm together. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own end. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Guai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power, and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Guai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. <laughs> seeks to subdue it. Commoners must not intrude. 
You scorn my words? I'll have you served to the gates, Jenna! <sighs> this might to aid my king's good deed. Our king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yaogwai's skills run deep, yet with your help, our chances will be doubled. The king is just ahead. With my meager skills, I cannot join you. Please, go aid him quickly. Truth be known, being a father of two little ones, my life is not mine to give. Worry not, the Yellowwing King is a noble disciple from Mount Ling Shan. Go and meet him. A good karma awaits you there. You bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. 
That Yao Guai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. <sighs> there is only one way to draw out this Yao Guai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yao Guai will be mine. Western end of the world. Each day the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yao Guai. The vessel this Yao Guai holds protects it from me. Your boldness in venturing here is clear. Aid me with this. It's right here, beneath us in the sands. Together, we shall rid the people of this wretched Yao Guai.
Folks' behalf, I thank you.
his life. <laughs> Foul monkey. No matter how many times you reincarnate, you're still blind to the ways of this world. Now, in your folly, you've hindered the dealings of the court. But above that, you've given a girl who knows no limits a false hope. <laughs> I shall transform her into a mighty golden pill and uh, keep it safe for you. Think about her, won't you? Should you feel like stirring trouble in your next life? So, both my trap and my vessel failed. But how? When I saw him, I... I just couldn't... The destined one then arrived and bested me. Now the monkey has ransacked our hollow. A mere monkey showing such disrespect. Your wound was recovering. But now it's getting worse. Fear not. I'll deal with him. But before that, that thing of mine, do you still have it? I, I do. Very well. Despite all your failures, you led the destined one here. I should reward you for that. But the thing I gave you, now I must have it. Three, 
trap him as I trap you, and seize his life!不见的交通，月光在西边的城楼，也是没见的遥。愿你愿我相伴，寻常最纯真。心犹如胶，心中有你的温柔，我我自由。人生是风景一种，从一生到一生，在那一刻我爱着。
忘了，是夏天的狗。是老套的妆，只因是笑永远。愿天黑化把你，分手不可。Not in wisdom. You've not only hurt Bajia and his darling, but also laid waste to the seal of the High Ones. A grave misdeed. Mortal or immortal, all seek to break from the past and start anew. Yet destiny, like a lover's tongue, speaks one way and means another. Though you may savor it yourself. You can never tell if you truly want it or not. Long ago, the many-legged one was subdued by Bodhisattva Pilanpur and locked on Purple Cloud Mountain. Only by a plea from the Celestial Court was he spared. The immortals dispatch minions to enact their will, while they remain serene, as if playing a game of chess. Pity those pawns; they know full well what they are, yet they cling to false hopes. And even take pride in it. Ah, even the sacred gourmand remains mundane if he clings to the ties of love. He was an admiral of the court, a pig in the mountains, and Bajia in the journey. Yet his nature remains unchanged. <laughs> so be it. A guileless fool may know less sorrow. This rooster is Pelanpor's son, the Dawn Star. He was called. Through him is forged the Weaver's Needle, 
the one that subdued the many-eyed master. More than that, he once crowed a giant she-scorpion to death. Indeed, he is a bane to all insects. This one must be a high immortal from the court. Amid the trials of the seven spiders and the many-eyed one, it was Bodhisattva Pilanpur who lent a hand. No aid from the court was given. But Wukong is ever heedless of rules. He might have sought higher places for help. Time was I guarded the Celestial River with my boys 80,000 strong and the puny revenants dare to impede me. That grand transformation of mine was the only reason you're still standing here. A proper kneel to show gratitude would be appropriate, no? Fooled me once, never again. Deceptive tactics like this pose no threat. I'll go size them up first. Keep pace, boy. 